After weeks of preparation, I finally left Australia behind and my journey has begun. The first stop on my journey to the other side of the world is the small island nation of Singapore, which happens to be home to a Universal Studios park. So what better way to begin the Coaster Odyssey adventure than with a quick flyby visit to ride Singapore's best roller coaster. This is Battlestar Galactica, a pair of dueling Vekoma coasters that were voted the best in Singapore. Hello from Universal Studios here in Singapore. It is time for episode three of Coaster Odyssey. I'm coming to you from the beautiful garden city of Singapore for our third out of 130 countries in this series. Today we're going to be riding not one, but two roller coasters that have been chosen by you guys. It's the best coaster in Singapore. Let's get started. At Universal Studios Singapore. There are 197 countries on planet Earth. 130 of them are currently home to a roller coaster. Some of them are big, some not so much. But I'm going to ride them all. What? This is the story of one enthusiast's insane mission to ride the best roller coaster in every single country. One man, 130 countries, 130 coasters. This is Coaster Odyssey. Welcome to Singapore, one of my favourite cities in the world that I've visited so far. Just days ago, I boarded a one-way flight out of Australia, finally embarking on this Coaster Odyssey journey for good. And after a long and arduous flight, and a rather uncomfortable sleep, I'm christening the journey with yet another theme park and another episode of the series. I've been to Singapore once before, but this was my first opportunity to spend a full day really exploring the city, and also my first opportunity to head to the island's one and only theme park. I arrived on Sentosa Island exhausted, anxious about what lies ahead, and ready for a relaxing day at a theme park to help put my mind at ease and remind me what all this traveling is all about. Let's do it. So we are here nice and early this morning. The park opens at 10 o'clock, which is about 40 minutes away. Uh, some of what we're looking forward to, today's Coaster Odyssey coaster is Battlestar Galactica, the dueling Vekoma coaster here in Sci-Fi City. We've got a Revenge of the Mummy clone to ride. We've got three other credits in the park as well. And of course, the very unique Jurassic Park Rapids ride rather than a flume ride. Plus, plenty, of, plenty more, of course. It is a universal park, so plenty to enjoy. This should be fun. All right, and just like the New Zealand episode, I'm lucky enough to have, this time, two guides. I've got Samuel and Alton, uh, who are Singapore locals, here to show me around Universal. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah. This should be a load of fun. We're about to enter the park. Let's do it. The third leg of my Coast Odyssey journey brings me to the resort island of Sentosa, home to Universal Studios Singapore. One of the five Universal Studios parks around the globe, it actually isn't operated by Universal themselves, but rather was licensed as part of a bid by Singapore-based institute Genting to build the second integrated resort in Singapore. The island of Sentosa is actually home to various other attractions all under the resort's world banner, including a water park and various luxury accommodations. 
The inclusion of Asia's second Universal Park was a huge part of the reason that Genting were awarded the contract to operate the Sentosa Resorts, despite it still being the smallest of the Universal Studios parks. The park itself opened in 2010, and has consistently drawn millions of visitors every year, peaking at 4.5 million in 2019 before a slight COVID-induced lull in the following years. It opened with five of its six currently operating roller coasters, and the two largest of those are the focus of our episode today. Okay, we are officially into Universal Studios Singapore. Uh, it's very, very early in the day, so none of the coasters or a lot of the major attractions are open just yet. They will open progressively over the next couple of hours or so. So we're just getting a feel for the place. It's very exciting to be here. Haven't been to a Universal Studios park in about 15 years, so this is, this is really exciting for me and I'm keen to get started. Okay, first ride of the day is going to be Transformers the Ride. This is exciting. Okay, so our first ride of the day was Transformers the Ride. That was pretty impressive. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a yeah. fun ride. Uh, a lot of use of the screens, which normally I don't prefer, but I like that it was really seamless when it went between screens and like practical effects. It worked, worked really well. So that was fun. It's been a long time since I've been on a good dark ride. Yeah, it's one yeah. of the, uh, I think it's still one of the best uh, screen-based uh, dark rides in the world. Oh yeah, probably, uh, that's I'd also, say. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's it's fantastic! That yep. was a great start to the day. It's it good was. to be good to be back at a at a Universal Studios quality park. Yeah. All right. Likewise. We've just heard Battlestar Galactica uh, starting to do cycles, so I think we might go and check out if we can get on that ride next. Battlestar Galactica, despite being 14 years old, remains one of a kind. It opened with the park in 2010, and fans of other Universal parks might be able to pick out where the inspiration comes from. Universal Orlando's popular but now defunct Dueling Dragons coasters serves as the inspiration for what would certainly be the Singapore park's most visually striking and thrilling attractions. But rather than opting for B&M, Genting chose to construct a prototype model from Dutch manufacturer Vacoma. What makes Battlestar Galactica unique is that each side of the dueling coaster is designed for a different audience. The larger side is Cylon, the prototype of Vacoma's new and improved inverted coaster model. And the red side, Human, is a sit-down coaster targeted as more of a family thrill ride. And to top it all off, the ride features the one-of-a-kind experience of racing LSM launch lift hills. Okay, first rides on both sides of Battlestar Galactica, Cylon and Human. Uh, my first thoughts, Cylon is incredible. I loved it. There's some, uh, it's gonna warm up, I'm told, so I'm, I'm sure it's only gonna get better, but particularly the third and fourth inversions, great, very forceful, I love them. Human side's much more mild, but we rode in the back, so you get some good floater off the first drop, and it's, it's pretty okay, so. That was a lot of fun. Next, we're heading to another one of my most anticipated rides here, Revenge of the Mummy. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Fresh off a couple of laps actually on Revenge of the Mummy, and that 
is probably my favorite of the coasters so far. Yep, that I is, uh, oh, I second that. That is, the theming there is amazing. So many great effects uh, mixed together with some good fast-paced ride time. I love it. I love it to bits. That's a huge thumbs up. Yeah. What a great ride. Thumbs up for me too. Woo. Thumbs up for me also. Three thumbs up? Yeah, three thumbs up. Woo. <laughs> We're now in another one of my most anticipated parts of the day, the Jurassic Park section. We've just tried our canopy flyer, the other coaster here. It was mid. It was fine, I guess. Eh. And then we're about to go and try the Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure. So unlike most of the Universal Parks that have a flume ride themed Jurassic Park, this one is a Rapids ride. So we'll see how it compares. <laughs> That was my first ride on the Jurassic Park Rapids adventure, and that was pretty cool. It stayed nice and loyal to the, yeah. the story of the flume ride, so it's kind of similar, but different in a lot of ways as well. Definitely scaled down a little bit, but still very fun. I, I enjoyed it. I'm also absolutely soaked, so. Yeah. Ooh, we got Which a little bit wet. not necessarily a bad thing in this weather. Oh yeah, on a day like today, I'll take that. Yeah. That's fine. Um, all right, where to next? Uh, let's go to Far Far Away Land. Yeah, sure, let's go. Right. Let's get okay. Shreked. Yep. Oh, hello there! I've got all of the credits at Universal Studios Singapore and I have to say that it's a great park. It is a fantastic park. I've thoroughly enjoyed all of them. Um, Revenge of the Mummy is probably my favorite of the coasters and probably my favorite ride overall actually. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed all of them. Uh, Cylon was good. I'd like to get another ride to see if it speeds up. Um, yeah, Enchanted Airways and Canopy Flyer were one and done's. Uh, Puss in Boots was cute, but nothing to it. Um, we're gonna go check out some of the, the other rides here at the park that we haven't been on yet. And then hopefully get a re-ride maybe on Cylon and see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> Anything goes 
back to one. After my first ride of the day, I thought that perhaps, like New Zealand, I would again disagree with the poll result for this episode. But my second ride on Cylon cemented its place in my top five. This was the best inverted coaster I've ridden so far, packed with force, smooth, and with five great inversions. Particularly the vertical loop and the zero G roll had my jaw on the floor. This ride really packs a punch, and it's clear to see that Vekoma are onto something with their new generation of inverts. It makes me very excited to see what the suspended thrill coasters in Germany and Ireland will have to offer, seeing exactly how much Vekoma had improved their suspended looping coaster model with this prototype. It certainly wasn't the best themed ride in the park, and Revenge of the Mummy was arguably more complete, but Cylon blew me away. Okay, it's a deep reef on the third coaster of the Coaster Odyssey Journey, Battlestar Galactica. The Cylon side is incredible. It is incredibly forceful. I had so much fun on this ride. There's a couple of really good moments. The valley into the vertical loop is very, very forceful. All of the inversions hit pretty well. I think it's a good, varied layout. It has a couple of weak moments, which I think might just be because they've worked it around to try and get those dueling interactions. So obviously, doesn't quite work the same when the rides aren't dueling, but it's still a fantastic invert, uh, and it's definitely, you can see how much Vekoma improved on their inverted model, uh, with this being the prototype. Human side is obviously much tamer. I didn't like it as much, but I'm not the target audience, so I can't uh, criticize it too much. I feel like I would have enjoyed it much better if it was dueling, but that's the way it is. There it goes in the background. Battlestar Galactica at Universal Studios Singapore, done and dusted. As the day came to a close, the exhaustion was starting to set in. I had a late flight to Europe to catch, and I was severely lacking in a good night's sleep. But Universal Studios Singapore had definitely impressed me. I wasn't sure how high I should set my expectations for the smallest Universal Park, but they clearly hadn't skimmed out on the theming and immersion that we have come to expect from Universal. Rides like Transformers, Revenge of the Mummy, and Jurassic Park had been magical and brilliantly themed. It was so nice to get to experience a park of this quality for the first time in quite a significant amount of time, and it definitely set the expectations high for the other Universal parks that I will undoubtedly visit on my travels. I think it's a little sad that Universal seems to have killed the competition in terms of Singapore having any other theme parks to offer, but the locals have a lot to be proud of with the one theme park they do have. It's high quality, with a great mix of attractions, and certainly some of my favourite coasters. Alright, I just want to say a massive thank you to Samuel and Alton who have joined me here today. It's been great to have you guys. Yeah, you are most, yeah. You are most, most welcome. welcome in Singapore anytime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much guys. These guys also okay. do create content on Instagram. I'll drop their Instagram handles at the bottom of the screen there so you can check that out. Uh, for all of their content from Singapore and beyond around the world. Yep, yeah, yeah. do give us a, a like and uh, subscribe to our, our video follow us. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that brings episode three of Coaster Odyssey to a close. The next one is coming to you in a couple of weeks' time from somewhere green. Can you guess where? See you then. Bye. On the next episode of Coaster Odyssey, I'll be riding a coaster named after a local legend. Do you know which coaster it might be? Join me for episode four of Coaster Odyssey coming March 30th. In the meantime, please consider liking and subscribing, scan the QR code to become a channel member, and I'll see you next time.